Ah, update time. I wonder, is this update going to fix some problems? Such as the Blu-ray disc player not playing regular DVDs. I can only wonder, because I no longer have any hope. I no longer have any faith in Microsoft as a company to do what's right, because it's what's right. No hope, no faith. Just sort of a morbid curiosity left. Are they going to fix it, or are they not? I'm betting not. Place your bets now, everyone. You don't have to bet anything in, in particular. You just... I'm betting that this is going to happen. It's not going to get fixed. Or whatever you want to bet. Just don't put any value on it. Don't put any value to it. Just a plain bet. Of course, most of humanity is not used to that. You've all gotten used to the idea of, oh, it has to be money. I have to bet money on something, or, or something has to be gained or lost. It can't just be a bet for the sake of saying, I'm betting this is going to happen. It's just a plain, simple bet. For the fuck's sake fun of it. Whether you're right or wrong, it doesn't fucking matter. No win, no loss. Just for the shits and gigs of it. Well, that downloaded really quick. Speaking of technical things, I had an idea. I'm not sure if it's viable. I'm not sure if it's practical. But I would like to see uh, the, some of the tech companies, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, whoever wants to um, venture into it. Instead of having one CPU run a bunch of processes of a game, or a multi-threaded CPU, or you know, one chip with a bunch of CPUs on board, which generates a lot of uh, thermal byproduct, which yeah, you can run that into a, a thermal coupling and recycle it into electrical charge. And instead of having one CPU or one chip with a bunch of CPUs in it do all that, why not have one CPU dedicated to specific process? You have a couple of different CPUs. You reformat the. Uh, the games and the BIOS to run on these different CPUs and, and you have one that syncs them all up as far as timing is concerned and then you have two at either end where you have your input from your LAN or your network or whatever you have one it syncs up input from the player putting controls in. Hmm. 
So why not give that a go? Yeah, it might take a bit for R&D to work out, but um, your CEOs have more than enough money to throw at it. It would, uh, it would create a lot of um, free space on each CPU for it to run all of your little monitoring processes in the background too. Yeah, I know how you think crazy bastards. You love to watch what everyone does so you can uh, maintain your illusion of control. And for fuck's sake, take out the X chip and it's programming all together. Yeah, I know, you want to pump out a new, uh, a new telly or a new computer or a new console every 6 to 18 months. Just for the fuck's sake of draining everyone of money. Look at what Jim Sterling told you. He said if you keep going with loot boxes, you'd wind up in a, in a fucking court trying to explain yourself. Look at the joke that that's been turned into on YouTube. I don't even have to look. I know it's already a joke. But anyway, back on track. That idea I've, I've had. Run with it. See if it works. Of course, each individual CPU is going to have to have a um, a bit of RAM and ROM next to it to store the individual save files regarding each section of the game code that's run through it. Like, uh, well, let's take Minecraft for instance. You'd have one CPU running let's say, uh, animating uh, the player's character and then that runs that information when the you, you player's online that runs a subsection of that information out for everyone else onto the lane or the network or whatever you want to call it <laughs> then you got others like uh, animating the area rendering and animating the area around the player so that's done on a, a separate one. That shunts the relevant information off to whoever's running the server. You've got another one running internal processes like the in-game time. The rotation of the, the moon and the sun around Minecraft. you got a completely separate one for uh, mob spawning and uh, a whole list of passive and aggressive mobs and where they spawn, how they spawn, you know, that sort of thing. You can tick them on and off for when it's in peaceful or on a, a difficulty setting or creative or whatever. But if you do it that way, I'm hypothesizing, I'm guessing, that you could run a lot more information. Yeah, you might have to do a dual motherboard setup in a, a new console, but stop running new consoles all the time for the sake of running new consoles. You've got a minimum of three Xbox consoles that have come out, three in the main line, then you've got all these branch-offs So instead of doing it that way, instead of uh, locking it up and saying, oh, you, you can't open it up and clean it or maintain it or, or modify it, let everyone, you know, have permission to open up the console, to clean it, to take care of it. And make these CPUs interchangeable so you can put upgrades out not marginally not marginally better upgrades like what I've seen from the the i line 
I'm talking like major upgrades. I mean, what what is it processors can go up to that are commercially available for everyone? What is it by a teraflop? One teraflop? You want to keep a revenue stream running off of doing what's right because it's what's right. So they want to um, they want to just play the game at its base level. Just design your, your standard baseline motherboard or dual motherboard system in your new console. Just design it to where it can run up to ten times what the base game is going to require. That way everybody's got some room to wiggle in. But ten times at most. More realistically, it's probably going to be about four times what the base game needs. And uh, processing speed. There's some older games out there that require a lower processing speed a lower uh, hertz range on the processor so a variable processor with uh, you know an extra little uh, chip on it that tells it okay this game runs at yay so much uh, processing speed we need to adjust you down to this much for the sake of the game's runtime so it runs as it's intended to run and give the player the option to boost it up or lower it at their leisure especially in the uh, offline only type of games or when they choose to play offline in a single player let them fuck around with it and have fun give them an option to lower and increase the game speed so they can have as much of a challenge or as much of an ease as they want let them fuck around and have fun Let them have a bit of the, a bit more control over the games they play and how they play them. Yeah, but uh, take out the X chip nonsense that planned obsolescence. Yeah, that's illegal in multiple countries. Let's just stop that altogether. provide a service plan for maintenance and repairs if they don't want to take it apart and clean it themselves throw in a maintenance plan where they pay for the the shipping and handling to send it in and they pay a maintenance fee if, if I could I would I would really fucking enjoy that because my console is full of dust it doesn't have a dust filter on it something it needs keeps it running efficiently it needs to be cleaned so it doesn't overheat because of the dust and dirt floating around in the air that gets sucked into it provide different levels of parts. You go with your factory standard, make it about 50% better than what you've got right now. Then provide elevated standard stuff. When people save up the money, they'll buy it, they'll put it in, install it, or they'll, they'll send you the console and let you install it. Let them go off and, and have these things. There was a uh, there's a company I'm going to point to that was out based in Canada. They sold um, hardware modifications for the Xbox 360. Much like my controller, you could get a crystal clear case for the 360. You could transfer all your hardware into it and you could just have it there. 
or you could put in an additional power supply branch and you could put in lights like what I've got in this controller that um, change color Ooh, that's brilliant that is I like that that's brilliant so instead of keeping it as a third party company integrate it let people have the option to custom order their console online with a crystal clear case and lights that change colors based on the systems temperature letting them know visually hey it's getting warmer hey it's getting hotter okay now it's back to just right let them have a fucking liquid cooling system if they want hell even put that graphene uh, stuff in there make sure you cut it to the right size where it covers the entire um, the die for the uh, CPU it contains and yeah it's, it's gonna be expensive that stuff this just recently finished being brought out is expensive let everyone know up front yeah this is gonna be an extra expense to put these modifications onto the hardware the way you want it you're gonna have to pay that extra expense let people go off and buy a thousand dollar Xbox console if they want but first Prior to me testing this update and seeing if it fixed the problem with the DVD player, test that idea I've got. Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, whoever wants to go off and test it. I know there's computers already out there. Alienware did one a while back. I think they did. I don't remember. Yeah, but, um,. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of extra work. Not a little bit, a lot. Because you're going to have to redesign the games, the coding, so that it redistributes from reading off of a disc or being downloaded. Instead of going to one central location and it's read by one CPU, it's going to go have to go to that one location, like the hard drive. And then a bunch of subsections are going to have to go here, here, and here, and here, and here for all these other little bits of uh, internal processing units, the CPUs, whatever you want to call them, little brain boxes of the whole thing. So it'll run at a decent temperature for a longer time. I'm hypothesizing if it's done right. Yeah, it's going to require a lot of extra cooling put into it, but just let everyone see just run a test on it whether it whether it succeeds or fails and just let everyone know hey we got this idea from this idiot we're trying it out see if it works now which DVD should I flop in Oh, no, I like this one. Right, okay. Here we go. I'll put you in there. And we'll see if you'll play. I'm going to have to mute this. Come on, then. Load her up. It's thinking, it's thinking. Oh, bloody hell, it's actually playing. Right, maybe this isn't the, a one-time deal. Maybe next time I pop the DVD in before the next update, it'll actually play it too. Maybe it'll fix it. Maybe it didn't. I don't fucking know. Individual results typically vary at this point. Now, don't they? 
anyway, you know, someone, if, if you've watched this whole thing, and uh, if you know a guy, um, yeah, I know a, a YouTuber who might know a bit of what I'm talking about, Code Bullet, and then I know a friend who might know a lot more about what I'm talking about. We'll see what he has to say, too. But hey, regardless of what those two guys say, definitely want to see a real-time results of this instead of a hypothetical. We know how coding works. We know how mechanics and machines work. We know how the, the CPUs work. We, that's just not going to work, or that's going to work. I want to see the, the data. I want to see the, the charts, the graphs. I want to see every spike of information for the whole thing. So any companies out there, hopefully someone's uh, bugged you about watching this video. Hopefully you, you've watched it all the way to the end. Let's do this just for the fuck's sake fun of it. Just to see if it works. And please, stop putting X chips in every fucking thing. I mean, yeah, I get it. You, you want to, you want people to buy your newest product when it comes out. You want all this revenue coming in. But that's the thing about inflation now, isn't it? It's inherently unsustainable. This infinite growth ideal. point in case the price of a loaf of bread I watched it in less than five years quadruple in price inflation is inherently intrinsically flawed and unsustainable that's why there have been so many bloody revolutions throughout history that's why history repeats itself because you're not listening Stop trying to control other people. Just control yourself, okay? Like Pude said in 2014, you do you, I'll do me, and we won't do each other. Probably. As much as I want to keep saying more, I think I've taken up enough of everyone's time. Till next time. Bye.